Hey, how's it going? It's um, it's really early in the morning. It's actually 5.45 and Mike's outside my house right now. Last night, Mike sent me a message. He said, do you want to go and do a shoot for sunrise tomorrow morning with Wounds, who's our other mate, Daniel? And I said yes, so here I am at 5.45. Let's go do a sunrise shoot. Yes, please. If you know about fava beans, this is a non-sponsored thing by the way because I only have 6,000 subs, but if you know about fava beans, they are the best snack ever invented. If you don't know about them, you should get some. This is Daniel, did his first vlog the other day. How was it? How was it feeling? It was alright. Did it feel weird? Oh, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. First one was a bit, how are you going? Yeah, it is. It is a bit, how are you going? <laughs> if you're not from Australia, that means weird. The good thing is it's raining, so the city's all wet, which is good for photography, but at the same time, we're shooting sunrise. So if we want to shoot sunrise, we can't have this many clouds, but this isn't even our light. If we're shooting sunrise, we don't want too many clouds because then it just means it's going to block the sunrise and it's just going to be average. That's the first time I've ever seen that. It's Flinders Street. It's like fully lighting up. It's got like a light show. The spot that we want to take this photo from is on a place called Hamer Hall, which is like this really cool building in Melbourne. And it lights up now, which is irrelevant, but that's the spot where we want to take the photo from because behind me is that classic spot of Melbourne. If there's like a break in the clouds, it will mean that the sun will be able to pop through and we'll be able to get a good sunset, but I just can't tell at the moment. Daniel's doing like this phone reflection idea, which I think Mike did a video about that ages ago, but it's pretty much where you use your phone as a reflection to create a reflection. In terms of the sunrise, it was meant to rise five minutes ago and there's still no sign of any color in the sky. So I think we're just gonna have to go and shoot street or something. There's just not gonna be a sunrise. That's all right though. One of the most fulfilling things about doing a sunrise shoot is A, you get to go out and take photos, which is awesome, but you have the rest of the day to go out and do whatever you want. It was good today to meet up with Wounds. I haven't shot with Daniel in a while because we've obviously been away in America. So it was good to come back and shoot with him and shoot in Melbourne because I haven't done that in ages. So obviously it was a failed sunrise mission, but I couldn't do anything about that. That's one of the things about shooting sunrises. You never know whether you're gonna get a good one or a bad one or Maybe you can tell, I don't know. Maybe I just haven't figured out a way to tell. <laughs> Even though I didn't get good photos at the sunrise itself, I still wanted to get some good photos because I was still wanting to take photos. But then when we were heading over to our office where me and Mike make our custom phone cases, we saw this spot and I've wanted to shoot here for about a year. I used to drive past this every day when I used to go to work and I've always been like, damn, I want to shoot that, I want to shoot that. But I just make an excuse every time like, oh, I'd be late for work, this, that, whatever. Point is I didn't shoot it for a year. So I got this shot at this location and um, I'm just so happy that I got it because it's literally the perfect autumn location. You've got all the leaves like on both sides as well. They were falling, which made the ground yellow because the leaves are yellow. It's just Melbourne autumn summed up in one photo. I learned that it's good to just go and do something. Say if you see a spot that you want to shoot, don't put it off. Don't make a little excuse like, oh, I'm tired. It's not the right weather, whatever. Just park your car or get off the public transport, however you get there and just go and shoot it and it will be so fulfilling because those little excuses that you make about not shooting at that photo location will actually carry on to other aspects of your life. And you'll just, you'll find that you'll just make more excuses. Pretty much if you see a spot that you want to shoot, just go and shoot it. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something new about photography. And as always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I will see you in the next one.